Hello and welcome, I'm Maruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue our Muslim World Conquest for Crusader Kings 2. It's like a robotic, systematic approach. It's just, it's just happening. One by one, they fall. And we just need to tell the armies where to go. Commander or two wouldn't be a terrible idea. Since this is a fairly sizable army. Down here, though, I think it's pretty weak. I mean... They'll be totally fine on their own. The Tahrid Emirate is one of the weakest for some reason right now. Only 5,000 available levy. It was more, but, um, you know, I changed the rules. What? Yeah, I changed the laws. The rules. Yeah, it's the rules. Of course. Definitely gonna assault here. What do you want? Muslim Marriage Simulator 2014. It, I just don't remember it happening like that when you're playing as a Catholic. I don't think that they, they don't bother you as much about marriages. We've succeeded. Wonderful. That means we can attack down in the Asaid Kingdom. Down near, uh, whatever it's called. 100% against this Emperor. Bam! Please tell me we did not inherit some stupid thing I'll have to delete. Apparently not. Good. So we can stand this army back down again and give this away. Okay, um, more retinue. Probably have room for some more. We have no money, though. And we're constantly having to pay to reinforce these, because I'm letting them assault so often. If we just ransomed some of these characters, we'd have tons of money. But that takes time, and I don't want to do that. I just don't think it's necessary, either. Okay, we got an army up in this area. Good. This retinue is fearsome. I thought we had four. One, two, oh, here it is. How are we doing over here? Seems to be working out alright. Let's um, split even further in half. Really spread that one out. It's all going pretty fine. Queen Assault down here. Pretty good ratio there. Let me get that ticking war score working out for us. Okay, Assault here. Please. A little bit of conversion happening. This guy is really resisting. Oh, it's an invasion. No wonder. It's a little bit different. The Holy Wars, they, they seem to resist very, very mildly. Jihad for Finland, or whatever it is. Excellent. Moving on. It's not a Jihad. It might as well be a Jihad. I mean, we're conquering everything. This is all going to go to Olavid. Bunch of weak garbage territory. Sorry if you live there, I don't mean to insult you, but I'm talking strictly within the scope of the game. That territory is just miserable. The levy's bad, the income's bad, everything about it's bad. I wonder how many prisoners we have. We have 190 prisoners, not bad. You'd think that we'd run out of space eventually. Okay. People have embraced the Sunni religion. Yay! Sunni is pretty great, after all. So, I don't know about you, but I feel like Muslim decadence is, like, way easier now. You know, they, they made it so that you can just ask people nicely to straighten up, and every unlanded man isn't decadent anymore, it's only occasionally. So, oh my gosh, it's so much easier. Oh no, he's decadent! What do we do? We just click that button. <laughs> That's it. The decadent system is so easy now. I remember I made a video series where I like was showing how, how ridiculous decadence got with a big Muslim empire. 
and now it's just there's just no challenge to it at all it's just basically decadence should just be plus 25 plus 20 percent domain income plus 50 percent morale that's all it is it's just a permanent bonus to muslims unless they're ai in which case they're dummies and they don't understand how to lower decadence even if we weren't constantly holding holy warring i think we would be totally fine Barely keeping ourselves afloat as far as money goes. All four retinue working hard. Working hard or hardly working, one of the two. Man, he's really going to make me go all the way for full occupation, isn't he? Probably the last bastion of his faith. We definitely crossed that hump, though, a while ago. And the game became very, very easy. And I'm fine with that. Because this is the part that I really like getting things clean and organized. Like, I don't know why, I just enjoy that part of the game. Like, when we made the transition to the Five Kings setup, that's when it started to get easier. Then there was a little hiccup with this Revolt title, but... Other than that, it's, it's just a pleasure to play. When you got the Five Kings setup. You know what we should try is a one king setup. I was actually thinking about that last night. Like, what would happen if we only had a single vassal? Just one. And then we could raise the, his, the entirety of our, levy, of our levy anywhere in the entire kingdom. Anywhere we want it. What would the likelihood of stability be under that model? And, you know, the risk would be upon succession that maybe they don't like you enough, but if you constantly were in a state of war, like let's just say we died right now, within like three months we would have won three more wars and we would have more titles to give away and so I think that it'd be possible to just keep them capped on opinion no matter what. I really don't think we'd have any issue keeping opinions high. I don't think I've ever actually tried it so you are really being obnoxious. Would you stop running away? Please. Please let us catch you so we can get some major war score for winning a battle. I think it would work just fine. Maybe we should try it. And maybe we should make that vassal our son. Just grant all of our territory to our heir. Every single title. That might work especially well with um, a Muslim setup because that way you, you know, you're just granting it all to your heir. But then what happens if he lands his sons or something? You know, it gets messy. Of course, this game is messy. It's hard to make everything pretty. Do you have some hostile sieges that are going okay over here? Look, this is just happening on its own. It's lovely. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, what about down here? Spread out over that. Um, this guy... Not actually putting up any kind of a fight. Uh, what was the invasion again? Carnada. All right, can we raise a good levy? Now we can. Mm 
he can put together a total force of 6,500. All right, so we'll go with um, three armies of 5,000. Hopefully they can resist whatever he throws at them. Maybe, maybe not. Look at this. I mean, uh, Mahmudid, he's doing something now, too. I would love to know what it is that he's doing. What, you, what is it that he's doing? Where is he? Umayyad Holy War for Burgundy. So the Sultan of the Umayyad Sultanate has called in the Sultan of the Mahmudid Sultanate, and they're both working together against Count Rubad of Charlon. This is the Holy War for Burgundy. The Duchy of Burgundy. So they're trying to take this single province. Yeah, they're getting to work. They're cleaning up the borders for me. Of course, by cleaning up the borders, I mean that Umayyads are going to take territory that they're not supposed to have. And it's going to get all messy as hell. But that's okay. At least it'll help speed up the world conquest. And if it's not pretty, then it's just not pretty. Oh yay, we can conscript merchant ships. We should do that. It seems pretty foolish, actually. Okay. I want to get somebody working all the way up to that way as well. These retinues are so strong. Oh, we lost the battle! Okay, so... Never mind. Looks like we're going to have to retreat and have one big stack again. So we've taken Novgorod. So that's nice. Can you see now why I like having my capital be Venice? And then you just don't have to deal with anything. It's very nice. I feel like my fingers are flying. Very efficient right now. So we're again having issues with the um, Ashputana, Kingdom of Karnada, this whole place. Pretty adequate supply limit there. Let's just put the whole stack there and just forget about it. I might have to swing a retinue down that way. In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea to send one down now. Maybe we can hire a few more and make this new one actually strong. We have a little tiny bit of money. Got four more, that's 2,000. That takes it up to eight. Still not significant enough. I think 17 to 20,000 is the sweet spot. Unless you assault almost everything. Yet another character that we cannot, uh... Hey, two of them, actually. For some reason, my prince cannot be straightened up, so in prison, into prison you go. Who cares? Simple solution. I'm such a tyrant. You surrender, Sultan of Mauritania, we accept. Excellent. 
That was down here. So we can sand you down, sand you down, and give this all to the Umayyads. Okay, great. So we still have raised uh, 30,000 altogether, mostly down here, I th no, down here, I think. Yep. I should put some commanders in charge of that army. He's probably gonna like hire some holy orders or something. He's such a jerk. Okay, um... The other play style that I want to try at some point, eventually, is to be either a duke or king and keep every single vassal directly beneath us. Every single count. It'd be a nightmare to raise the levy, but the money, ooh, the money that you would make would be outstanding. It would just be ridiculous. I mean, imagine if you had 30% 30 tax, 30 taxation of every single county in the game. That's a lot. I mean, that'd really add up. That's as close as you can get to North Korea mode anymore. They nerfed North Korea mode. You can't do it. It's broken. What happens if you try North Korea mode now is... Um, your 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 direct levy ends up going down as a percentage relative to how many holdings you are over the domain limit. So let's say I controlled every single county myself, then no counties in the entire map would actually produce levy. So and you'd still have tons of penalties for being over the limit. So they effectively got rid of that, which is which is good. It's not how you're supposed to play. Of course, you're not really supposed to conquer the world either. And you don't see me complaining about that. Alright, so this army is going to head its way down to India. Your new home is India. Congratulations, you have a lot of work to do down there. And also, this army, whenever we finish buying more retinue up, it's going to get assigned to India duty as well. But for now, I'm going to take a break. So thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.